All right, today I am going to give you guys a detailed look at this uh, Mafex Hush figure, and it is Superman, of course. And this is the either the second or the third reissue of this uh, figure uh, from Hush. And um, I could have gotten this review up like years ago, but uh, at that time I was uh, kind of canceling a lot of pre-orders. Uh, I canceled Superman because I figured uh, if I get Superman, I'd get all of them, and then I didn't want to buy all of them because they're they these figures are kind of pricey so uh i end up uh, canceling a bunch of pre orders uh, and uh, now uh kick myself uh ever since uh, not being able to get the superman because i have seen uh, tons of photos where uh, this looks amazing so yeah so i figure uh i gotta get it and then and then i believe um big bat had a had a reissue once and then it went so quick that I completely missed it and uh, I was kicking myself again uh, about that and then now finally they're reissuing it again so I was able to get it and I am super happy about it and this guy is still available uh, uh, as I'm speaking right now it's still available to purchase uh, of uh, Big Bad so here's everything that comes with uh, let me take it out and show you guys all right, so here we have Superman outside of packaging, and uh, first thing first, of course, it comes with a translucent base, like all Mafex figure. And uh, let's take a look at accessories first. So Superman is packed with uh, two head sculpts. One is the angry one with the red eyes, right there, and the other one is your neutral Superman look. And then it comes with these uh, vines. Uh, two are for the uh, forearm and one for the neck. And then here's a hand for Batman. And then uh, I hear a bunch of other hands for Superman. And there is the figure of Superman. All right, up close and center. Okay, so here he is. I think uh, Mafex did a fantastic job with it. Uh, it looks uh, a lot like the Hush uh, version of Superman, uh, unlike some other companies. Uh, well, one I think, uh, namely McFarlane, they did a really, really horrible looking Superman, the Hush Superman, and that, that looks nothing like Superman uh, in that uh, in that uh, in that run of comics. So yeah, that was yuck. But uh, this one looks fantastic, and I love it, and I am very, very happy to have this in my collection. Uh, of course, uh, Superman comes with a cloth cape and uh, has wire running through the edge. Uh, on the center here, which is a little annoying, is that the, the fabric just sits right here, and then uh, it doesn't. It, it would have been nice if there if it's actually tugged in um, behind the neck or something, but right now it's, uh, it's you can see a hole there. And it's a little strange. Or if it was uh, pulled down a little bit more, where it sits lower past the neck that might be that might be nice but uh, right now sits at a weird uh, angle but um, let's see as far as articulation let's go straight into articulation then uh, a lot of the Mafex figure now has that uh, joint uh, the neck joint has a curve to it so that allows him to look back a little bit more which is nice uh, so he could definitely do a Superman flying pose if you arch the um, the torso, the chest up a little bit more, then you could definitely have him do a flying pose, straight at you type of pose. Uh, not uh, almost, almost. It, it, it needs a little bit more. It feels like uh, oh sorry, it feels like the neck needs a little bit more range uh, for it to be perfect, but. Um, for the most part, it is still really nice. Uh, base of the neck, there's another joint. And then as for the shoulders, uh, these are on. Uh, ball joint that's attached to the uh, chest area. And there's a hinge joint right here. And then bicep, swivel, double jointed elbows. And uh, it could give you more than 90 degrees. There's a ball hinge wrist. Then... Uh, Ball joint chest, ball joint waist, ball joint hips, and they can be lowered, which allows you to pose them a little bit more. And then knees, you can bend so far, look at that. 
nothing around the boots and uh, ball hinge ankles and toes articulation e yeah like that. oh sorry maybe I should zoom out a little bit more I'm not catching them on frame because I'm not looking at the uh, LCD screen right now so I'm not exactly sure what's what I'm capturing and what I'm not capturing so but Superman looks great fantastic looking figure and um, let me switch it back to the regular head so you guys at least can see what he looks like if he's not evil looking and let me zoom in a little bit show you guys that head sculpt and uh, yeah looking good I like it I mean it's still not perfect not perfect uh, hush Superman but it is a lot better than um, another company like uh, McFarlane but yeah it's still a really really good looking Superman I like it I like it a lot actually so um, to put some of the stuff on him uh, this just wraps around the neck so you could adjust it however you want just sits right there and then for the uh, forearm bits you just need to slide that in sort of whenever it fits however then you go so it's right there so you get him um, doing that pose that very famous pose uh, from Jim Lee where um, Superman is I think I think he's carrying uh, poison ivy there uh, floating in midair that was a really good looking pose so you could have that you could recreate that scene completely so that's nice I'll definitely do that once uh, poison ivy comes out but uh, in the meantime you could imagine I could just imagine Superman floating like so and then having uh, poison ivy in front so that's cool I like that a lot so yeah definitely worth getting and uh, it's kind of expensive of course uh, Mayfax they're usually around a hundred bucks and uh, this of course it is about a hundred bucks and um, still I'm happy to pay that amount for this guy because I think on the secondary market uh, before the reissue was going uh, over two I think it was at least over 200 bucks for this guy but uh, now I think it should be back down now since uh, since uh, uh, they're doing reissue so yeah but with Mayfax I feel like they 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 tend to do a lot of reissues because um, they have reissued some other figures like Justice League figures they reissue uh, from the based on the movie uh, they did add some uh, minor um, minor updates to those figures uh, with these I don't think they did anything with it uh, it's just a straight up reissue uh, even with uh, Spider-Man, uh, the comic Spider-Man, they did a reissue of that one, but then uh, they took out uh, the head sculpt of Peter Parker. But I'm glad they kept, I think they have everything, or I'm not sure, I, mean, I could be wrong. There might be some accessories missing from uh, the original version of this guy, but uh, to me, uh, this is fine, I'm happy with it. And uh, I don't, unfortunately, I don't have a Batman uh, at the moment, it's not out on display. So I could only tell you how tall he is. He is uh, 6.25 inches in height. So if you have other figures and you want to make sure he stands uh, perfectly with uh, with other 6 inch figures, then uh, you, you have an idea how big he is. But he is on the skinny side though. Uh, let, me, let me see if I can bring in something. All right, so here I have two Batmans. Uh, one is from Mesco. And one is from SHF with the uh, muff head sculpt. So uh, you can see height-wise, uh, he looks okay. He's shorter than Batman from uh, from um, Mesco. So, but uh, usually Mesco stuff are a little bigger. So, it, so you wouldn't want to pair these two up together. You could probably pair it up with uh, SHF because SHF figures are a bit on the skinny side as well so I think that will fit with the Mayfax 
uh, at least with this line, the uh, Hush series. So there you go. Uh, not a whole lot more to say about Superman. It's a great figure. Happy to have this in my collection, and uh, I think it's totally worth getting for me. That is. And uh, here's a look at the Kryptonite ring that Batman has. So this is for the blue version of. Uh, wait, for is it? Uh, this is dark blue though. I thought there was a no. There wasn't a light blue. There was a dark blue and then a black version of soup uh, of Batman. Whoop. So yeah. So this will fit in nicely with your Batman if you have the blue version of Batman. So there you have it. There's a uh, Superman from Mayfax, and uh, thanks for watching. Oh, I forgot to mention about the joints. Uh, as far as the joints, uh, they are all good. Uh, I haven't had any issues with them. Uh, everything feels solid. Um, there's no loose joints anywhere with this one, so I'm happy about that. Because uh, usually, uh, not usually, I mean, the, the stuff that Mayfax uh, came out with before, um, they tend to have loose joints around the hips. But uh, I think my Catwoman has a loose ankle, but uh, Superman is very tight on everything, so that's good. So there you go. Thanks for watching.